We're here at the Leach Teaching Gardens talking about iron deficiency and our citrus plants. We've got Tim here to talk a little bit about it. Tim, how do you tell in a plant like this? To me, it looks pretty healthy, but you are saying that it is lacking some iron. How do you tell that? Yeah, so this is a lime quat, and you can see it's still got some lingering damage from last year's horrific freeze. But you'll notice these leaves are really yellow. Okay. And one way to distinguish this from nitrogen, or what most people just think of as regular fertilizer uh, inadequacy, is you'll notice that it's the newer leaves that are really yellow. Yeah. The older leaves are green, and you'll notice that the veins are still green. Mm -hmm. So we call this intervenal chlorosis. So this is a telltale sign of iron deficiency. And what's interesting is we probably have iron in the soil, but it's because of the high pH that we have because of our water and soil around here that the roots simply can't take it up. So, so what do you need to do to help solve this problem with a plant like this? Yeah, so what we're going to do in this case is we're going to apply a chelated iron. Iron sulfate is not going to be effective with our high pH soil. And so we can either spray on that iron chelate onto the leaves or we can mix it up with water and drench it around the roots. How long do you recommend doing that till those leaves are back to that normal green color? Yeah, so usually you'll see it within a couple weeks, it'll start to green up or so, and just kind of keep an eye on it. But it's common to see a lot of this this time of year. All right, well, Tim, thank you so much for all of this great information. I have a plant, now that you point all that out, <laughs> at home, definitely showing signs of this. We've got all this information up for you over at kbtx.com.